Ah, how silly of me. You don't know how to sign. Uh, I'm just introducing myself. My name is Lucy Lim. I'm going to be 48 this month. I'm actually very excited to reach 50. I don't know why. I'm from Kuala Lumpur. Although my parents are born in Malacca, local language, we call them ourselves the Babas and the Nyonyas. I have a Chinese name, but I don't speak Chinese. And I realized that because of that, you know, friends uh, look down at you or, you know, don't want to be friends with you. And I felt the same connection with the deaf they were not able to connect with the hearing people but seriously I was surprised at myself because here I am I was able to pick up the sign language so fast and yet still uh, not able to learn Chinese language. I've been with them now for the last 27 years. I started when I was 19. It has a strong bonding and I think it, it's a combination of passion, commitment, love, not only towards the work but towards the people. I'm very interested in their lifestyles and always uh, with them um, and looking and observing in terms of their culture and all that. I am happy because I'm able to share their ups and downs as well. I have children who I knew when they were young, has all grown up. But throughout the life, I know what happened to them and so forth. But at the same time, I feel guilty or sad because the parents would not have known as much as they should about their child uh, compared to me. Yeah. Being a freelance uh, sign language interpreter is uh, very challenging because in Malaysia there is a dire need for sign language interpreters. However, the profession has not been recognized as a need. It's rather if we can provide that kind of thing. And there is also the mindset that the sign language interpreting services should be provided by organizations serving for the deaf at a no cost kind of thing because they said oh we are doing a favor to the deaf people so you have to do your part as well by contributing the services deaf people are wonderful kind of uh, unity a friend may get married in Penang and they would drive up all the way to go there so you know in every part of their life uh, we've been there you know when they're dating when they, they, they have children so it, it's very enriching actually that each of the lives of deaf people, just like us, but the challenges are more. I could write, I think, how tons of books about their lives. It's very, actually, very uh, interesting.